What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tetra Ninja and I welcome you once again to another Annihilation DLC Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay slash commentary. Uh, this time we are playing on the map Drive-In. I think this is only my second Annihilation DLC map that I posted so far. I haven't been playing it as much as probably a lot of you guys out there uh, just because not a lot of my friends are still playing Call of Duty Black Ops. So I'm primarily just playing it by myself. But in this game, I actually have two of the party members. Uh, this is a team that I pulled off Twitter and as well possibly my Facebook fan page. Uh, just a plug, uh, if you want to play open lobbies with me anytime I decide just to pull together a random team, uh, just follow me on Twitter or like my Facebook group. I always leave the annotation to both in the description uh, of the video and you can just click those and it'll take you straight to where you want to go. But this is a domination gameplay. Uh, I've told you guys before that domination is my favorite game type. Uh, we were playing a little bit of search and destroy a bit earlier but we were running into some connection issues and we just feel, felt like swapping it up. Uh, but I don't really care because like I said, uh, Domination is my favorite game type to play and this kind of goes to show you why I usually only post videos where I play by myself because I've said it before, if you even have <laughs> even just one other party member on your team, uh, so you have two members out of six possible people, it does make your life a lot easier. Um, this wasn't uh, too too bad gameplay wise, I tried to keep it as exciting for you guys as possible. I'm using the AK-47 Golden Camo as always, and my perks, if I remember correctly, are Scavenger, Hardened, and I think for my third green perk I'm running Tactical Mass Pro, and I usually don't run Ninja, I only run Ninja in Search and Destroy and Team Deathmatch, just because Domination games are just so so hectic, uh, the Ninja perk really doesn't serve you that much, and I'm using Flash Bang Grenades, and more often than not just because the radius and the Flash Bangs are a lot larger than they are in the Stun Grenades, I end up hitting myself, so the pro version of that helps a lot. And because I'm running Scavenger, I'm running the extended mags on the AK-47 instead of my usual dual mags that I like using on all my assault rifles. And this is a pretty uh, epic scene right here, it's kind of like a showdown at the OK Corral, these guys are just keep rushing me. But luckily, first off, I had a good position and luckily for me as well, they weren't the greatest of players. But anyways, um, when you're using the scavenger perk, I find that you really don't need to use the dual magazines, even though I probably could, I would like the extra faster reload every other time. But because I'm getting extra ammo and extra... Um, extra packages for my flashbangs and my grenades. I find that the dual magazines really don't serve the purpose as well. Uh, I don't have to reload as often with the extended mags even though I still do just because I'm very very OCD about my reloading. I don't know if you guys <laughs> notice I, throughout my gameplays I sometimes reload just for the hell of it for no apparent reason. But anyways um, and my overall impressions of the map drive-in by itself, I like it a lot. Uh, if you wanted to get a general idea of if two maps were brought together, what it would be like, think of the map from Call of Duty 4 called Bog, as well as the Modern Warfare 2 map called Carnival. And if they, those two maps had a baby, it would look exactly like drive-in. No promises though, sometimes babies are ugly. But <laughs> anyways... Um, Overall strategies for setup, I highly suggest that you go with the hardened perk on this map uh, just because there's so many places to hide behind, cover and everything such as that gigantic billboard that snipers like to hang out right here beside the C flag as well as the building that overlooks the B flag right in the middle. Uh, you just find that people are camping out a lot in those buildings so using the hardened perk increases your bullet penetration as well as lowers the amount of flinch you get or the amount of camera sway that you get when you get shot at. And uh, I, use, I like using the hardened perk on some of the slower firing assault rifles such as AK-47 or the Commando. And the reason for that is if you throw hardened on... Because when you're using the hardened perk and you're shooting enemies behind cover, you're most likely wall banging a lot. And if you try to do that with some of the fire, higher firing assault rifles such as the FAMAS or the AUG, uh, you're just going to be burning out a lot of ammo, especially if you're not using scavenger. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I find that as well. If when you're wall banging a person, you kind of have to slow fire a bit just to get a general feel of where they're at. And if you're using a higher firing assault rifle, you'll burn out ammo or run out of your clip 
really quickly. So uh, AK-47 or Commandos are your best bet for the hardened perk, in my opinion. Uh, that's just generally how I like to use them. And overall strategies for this map, uh, there really isn't one side that's better than the other, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, snipers do like to hang out in that this area right here with the billboard. But I really haven't come into any situations where there's a gross, uh, there's a gross difference in position and one being much greater than the other. But who knows? Maybe that'll change in a couple of weeks when people start figuring out spawn traps. But as of right now, it's fairly equal and fairly balanced right now. And in terms of this map pack, I said it before that I actually liked it a lot. This is probably the best map pack that Treyarch has released thus far even though I'm not playing it as much and I'm not I'm just because I'm not having been playing Black Ops as much and you guys will probably notice as well a lot of your, your other favorite commentators just haven't been posting as much just because they're no longer playing Black Ops and I think this community is just at this point it's really just biding its time till the release of Modern Warfare 3 which is not a bad thing it gives more room for variety such as the ones or the lots of plays I've been doing on my channel but um, like I'm gonna get Modern Warfare 3, I'm gonna give it a fair shot, it's probably gonna give me at least 3 months of enjoyability and playability on it. Uh, but I think that I'm just as excited or even more excited for the release of Battlefield back, uh, Battlefield 3. And uh, I'm actually probably gonna be playing that on PC just because uh, I've gotten all my parts together and I'm about to put together a pretty beastly PC. So uh, for all you PC players, you might actually start seeing some content on this channel. Um, I just uh, have just enough to build a stellar PC and I'll probably do a video of the setup for it once I get it done. And I, from what I see, Battlefield 3 is just, it's bar none going to be the best on the PC, uh, the PC version just because from what I've seen on the other versions, it looks pretty poopy on console. So yeah, uh, the gameplay wraps up right here. I think I go 15-7 or 15-6. Uh, with some Twitter subscribers and once again yeah if you want to get any games with me uh, follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook group and I'll see you guys next time peace